Alrighty, howdy folks. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on this portable power station that I just built. Uh, it's 10 amp hours, 120 watt hours. Uh, this thing is tiny. It's maybe a foot long at the top. Nine inches tall. Four inches wide, five inches wide, maybe. Um, just totally basic basic bare bones no fancy dials or switches or contraptions just enough to get you powered up and pretty easy to keep powered and see here we've got two power sources we've got usb dual usb port and a 12 volt port that's going to come in real handy. That's going to serve a ton of uses here. Um, the back side. Installed an SAE port. That runs directly to the solar charge controller. So we can charge it with solar panel. Okay. And you see it's switched so it's only on when you want it so we'll power it up powers up both ports i didn't switch the ports individually so usb and 12 volt activate when the power's on okay and shut it back off for a second here i also switched the solar because i don't want the charge controller on all the time only when it's charging, of course. So we'll pop the lid here. We'll take a look inside. Very, very compact, limited area, limited space. So limited that I had to put the switches in the dial or the gauge, voltmeter gauge on the top. I wanted to put it down front, but I don't have quite enough room there, as you can see. Basic wiring goes power slot daisy chain to each switch then down to the battery okay and then we've got all the grounds all the grounds all just wired all together off of the back of these also and to the negative and then the main power from the two, the two uh, USB and the 12 volt run over here to the power switch, to the center tang of the power switch. That way when you turn it on, it activates the power to them. Pretty simple. Learned all this on YouTube too, folks. So a couple, three weeks of practice, learning, teaching, cutting, crimping, and it Seem to work out pretty good so far. Okay, down below here, you might notice that I got a little space here. This is where I keep all my goodies. I have the adapter to hook it up to, from my SAE port in the back to MC4, which is all the connections on my solar panels all have this connection. So I just made a quick adapter so that I could plug it into the back of the unit with this and then these go into my solar panels and I'm good to go and then when I'm ready to charge I turn on my solar charge controller and I'm ready to go and the charge light the little red light when I have the solar panels plugged in you'll see that light red as it's charging Pretty cool little unit, really tiny. It's only about two inches long, two and a half inches long, inch and a half wide, about three quarters of an inch tall, but it works really well. It's a, actually a 10 amp charge controller. Only, you know, it was only like 450, I think I paid for that one. Down below here, in here, we've got little 100 watt inverter. 
so if the need ever came that I'd actually have to use anything that I couldn't run off of the USB or the 12 volt I just plug this into the 12 volt and we got some AC power good little unit it it actually is 100 watts I'm, I powered a 100 watt bulb and it it powered it up I paid seven dollars for this I believe on eBay little no-name unit but works real well and then down further down below here and squeeze it out of here we have the 12 volt to 12 volt male adapters so I can plug in here and plug into a car car lighter cigarette lighter or any other unit and I can charge directly off of that so that pretty much covers all the charging capability or needs that I would have. I can also plug into the 12 volt. I can plug in my trickle charger using the uh, the the adapter here. Just plug it in here with my and plug and charge it AC while I'm somewhere like home. So then I just got a little other little bag of goodies here that I keep in there. Another extra dual USB port in case you're running with the missus, significant other, friend or whatever, and you both have a cell phone and a tablet that are bad, you need to charge them all up, that are almost dead, charge them all up at the same time. A little LED or USB LED emergency light, so you can plug it in there. And then this little guy here is just, a, it slides right onto the top of the, slides right in there on the inverter, and it's a little, Emergency flashlight. Yeah, there it is. A little emergency flashlight. Not very bright, but it gets the job done. I've also got a little carabiner in here that I keep. So when I shut the when I shut the case up, I just run it run it through the lock holes here. Hang keys, anything, you know, just something. Never know when you're gonna need any of it, so that's a quick walkthrough. This thing cost me about somewhere between 50 and 60 bucks to build. Um, about, oh, with the little fidgeting around, I've done with it after I got it done last night. Probably about nine hours of labor time into it. But uh, for, the, for the price and just the size of this, I mean, it, it weighs about, I don't know, maybe eight pounds, maybe. Loaded up with all of the goodies, about eight pounds. I mean, it's a really small, really compact, really easy to carry, easy to use unit. Um, you guys want to take up the journey of putting one of these things together. YouTube, just Google searches, little reading, little watching some videos. They are not hard to put together. Give you some inspiration. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.